All right, guys, so we're heading down to Rick. Probably link up with Kenneth, Mike, and Hayato later today. Probably grab some food, check out the Gucci Adidas drop. I did want to check out some of those sneakers. I have to do some errands and then also pick up some goodies that I'm excited to show you guys. So I'm gonna hop on the train and head downtown. Today's fit, some Beaumont leather pants, Nike blazers and just cozy stuff up top, but I'll show you guys more detailed stuff when we get to Soho. James Purse, these are crazy. I might have to pick up a pair of these for the house. Cozy vibes. Even in like the burgundy. Yeah, I don't like this color. I like the red and I love these. I like that brown one, but I like the green one. Loving the Rick banana pant, the flare, like flares all the way out. So now it's just super exaggerated. Those are crazy. The MA plus drop. Yeah. And then all the crosses are sterling silver, I think. We're at Celine now. Let me flip. I kind of hate this new iPhone update. I can't work it that good, but I love that trench coat with the faces. Yeah, that's nice. Cream color. No? I like that the color is brown too. Like a grayish one. Secured. Margella bag. Could be the new, the new daily quilted. I think it's crazy. R13. I like this flannel. The colors are crazy. have all the clothing like set up against like big screens it's really cool we're gonna get ourselves some ice cream because it's too hot i think i'm gonna get a milkshake your shit looks good what what did you get mm, madagascar vanilla shit. rocky road and cherries whipped cream i fumbled this man this man knows what to pick i got the classic cookies and cream ice cream about to go link up with the boys real quick and uh see where the day takes us okay you gonna buy any you want a rolex what do you want man you want me to get you a bag yeah. some, some slippers some flip-flops some watches and shit no we are not shopping out here all right so it's a new day now that i haven't really been going as hard with my content as I should be, so I'm gonna apologize to you guys for that because I'm just honestly like just been like readjusting to like new things that I got going on and like schedules and stuff. But the content will keep going, keep commencing. I'm not gonna slack for you guys, I'm gonna keep going hard. But anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my new pickup from Rick Owens that I picked up yesterday. I might have shown them briefly when I was wearing them. I was really excited to pick them up, and they were honestly super hard to locate. I pulled a couple strings and I was able to get the last pair in the whole US. So I'm gonna jump into that and then we're gonna get on with this vlog. So the box is pretty standard. It's just like the Rick Owens box. So what I really loved about it is that it comes with like this, this little like paperwork. It's probably like the certificate, authenticity and all that. What I loved about it is just off the bat, the texture of the leather, it's like super, super sturdy. It's very thick, Rick Owens vibes, which I love. It says Rick right there. So here they are. These are the Rick Owens Geff sunglasses. These were one of the hottest ones off the runway. And I think there's two other models that also dropped that are 
they kind of go in size and it's like this is like the most slim pair to the face and then they just go up in size but super super sleek sunglass they have these little three dots so some people might mistake them for celine but they are rick almost like a seamless frame so when you have it on um, you don't really see the lens it just kind of looks very flush on the face and i don't know very like easy e vibes like just really really dark which i love and they're very unique so i had them on yesterday when i was in soho and i was definitely getting a lot of looks with them definitely happy with this pickup and honestly i'm just super happy to have them i'm gonna throw them on face and head out for the day see what i was talking about how they're like very very seamless and flush and i like how it kind of like tapers in over here it gives like a cyclops vibe a little bit but I think they're really, really cool, very unique. Not a lot of people have them. So they were made in Japan. So a lot of the frames that Rick does happen to be made in Japan. I wanna pick up a couple more pairs, like the oversized shield sunglasses, but I think I want the slimmer version. But this is what I'm gonna be rocking out with today. And Amber are gonna go do some vintage shopping because she needs some new pieces, some new t-shirts. So we're gonna go see what we find, but today's outfit. My vintage Snoop t-shirt, some Balmain vintage leather biker pants, and then I'm wearing my Celine boots. And then I'm also gonna wear my Hayato today denim jacket, so shout outs to Hayato, he gifted me one. You guys might've seen me wearing his in Paris, he let me it. And when I did the Paris vlog, I was running around with his, and I loved it so much, and he ended up gifting me one of them. So I'm gonna throw it on real quick, and we're gonna roll. So I got the Hayato today denim jacket on. I really love the detailing that he did on the pocket. It's amazing. Just see all that detail. And then it's a raw denim, so as you continuously give it wear, like I do with all my pieces, it's gonna start to get its own patina. It's gonna start to age. Kind of like one of one, each person's is gonna be unique to themselves and the lifestyle that they live and how they wear it. So I'm excited to see how mine ends up turning out, but that's the fit for today. I'm gonna roll out, see what we find. All right guys, so it's a new day. I forgot to show you guys the new pickups that I did at the thrift yesterday, so I'm gonna jump into it. I didn't do too much filming while I was at the thrift store just because, you know, sometimes for all the thrifters out there, you need your hands to just be able to like move around and search through the piles and piles of things. Amber probably found more good pieces than I did yesterday, but that's kind of just how it goes. But let me jump into my fit of the day and then I'll show you guys my new pickups. So I'm wearing my Hayato Today raw denim jacket. Seska jacket with the amazing details on the pockets. It's just sick. A charcoal safe khaki basic t-shirt. I just love these t-shirts just because of how soft and broken in they are. They already feel vintage um, and thinned out and that's something that I always look for in a basic t-shirt. Just something that's super comfortable and then colors that really just are authentic and don't seem like super dyed. Seem very natural and aged already. I'm wearing it in a charcoal gray. I'm wearing my ADP custom flare denim in charcoal, vintage charcoal. These are really cool. If you guys wanna shop some of the ADP custom jeans I've done, it'll be linked in the description box below, denim project by AR.com. And then on the feet, I'm wearing my vintage engineer boots. I think they're so old, but I love the patina that they naturally have gotten. It's just really, really cool. And I think that they pair up kind of perfectly with the flares and the Hayato jacket. So that's today's fit. I'll also wear my Rick on sunglasses, but let's jump into some of my vintage pickups. One of the benefits that I always find when I'm thrifting is that these pieces that you get lucky and you find while you're thrifting, nine times out of 10, um, they're all gonna be one of one just because each piece itself has gained its own like characteristics and its own little detailings through the life that it lived before. And that's kind of why I love thrifting and why each piece is unique because you find these like little gems that nobody's gonna have you, you know, nine times out of 10, you're not gonna see somebody else walking down the street with the same thing. So Amber actually found this for me. She knows how much I love like my vintage Beaumont pieces because they're like army inspired and very military. So she found this on our way out actually. What I loved about it was the pack shift, the pack's detailing, and that's also what caught her eye. So it's in a really, really nice classic tan colorway. And then it has like just the 
authentic military details all throughout the shirt and it is actual like army issue you guys can see like oh, that's the stamping from when it's issued and all that so the fit is great i'll show you guys fit clips also later on when i get back i'm gonna film and just like insert it here because i have to go do errands but this was one of the finds that i got for eight bucks can't beat this for a nice shirt and i could honestly pair this with what i'm wearing now what i showed you guys before without the jacket it would pair honestly perfectly but that was one of my pickups you guys know that i love a good tie-dye t-shirt and the thing with tie-dye as well as just vintage in general is that you aren't ever going to get the same exact tie-dye or same exact print the color is always going to be unique to each individual t-shirt so that's why i like to hunt for certain tie-dyes because i feel like it's like one of one and you're really not going to see another person with it the colors of this one just really really drew to me um they really really called me in and it just kind of looked like some type of painting and i really love that so i could get a lot of use out of this during the summertime if i want to pair it with like my ripped saint laurent denim or celine boots I think the tie-dye is just another fun alternative. Also with the last Celine Cosmic Cruiser collection, there was a lot of like rainbow and tie-dye in it. So that's kind of the inspiration behind picking pieces up like this. I scored this one for six bucks. Now, another thing to have in mind when you're thrifting is kind of like be open-minded to the possibilities of t-shirts and DIY. A lot of the time when you are searching for pieces, you might find something that you have a long-term idea with. So I saw this basic t-shirt and clearly you guys know that I'm not gonna wear this with the sleeve like this, but, but the color of it was so rich to me. And then I also like single stitch vintage t-shirts. And the thing about like vintage blanks like this is that the quality was so high and that's why half of them for the most part hold up so long and they look so good after shit 20 30 years down the road and even longer so my goal with this t-shirt which i'm probably gonna do right now slice the sleeves off of this one and just make it a tank top because i've never seen a tank top in this nice of a blue before the quality of the cotton and the quality of the shirt in general is just really really good so i'd prefer to have it as a tank so that's why i purchased it and then i have a vintage single stitch blank tank top and a really nice blue that i could wear all summer long so matter of fact i'll do that right now Pop it up for you guys. All right, so after a little nip tuck, now we have our. I'll put it like this. Now we have our single stitch basic blank tank top in this really rich blue. Gotta have just have a little bit of a vision, a little bit of patience, and if you see something that you know might have caught your attention and you could add to your closet wardrobe essentials you know a little cut and sew like, now you'll never know it's one of those really good vintage blanks you guys know it's the old stuff is really good it's really thinned out already it's just like you're not going to see this color it's going to be rare to find a color like this and then my last little find i don't know i have this like weird obsession with neon green for some reason even though i barely wear it i don't know if i'm gonna turn this one into another tank top that i just used during the summertime and for cozy days but it's like kind of feeling this neon green tie-dye while i was over there i wasn't gonna leave it for six bucks but yeah this one's still to be determined i don't know what i'm gonna do with it but but yeah i don't know maybe i'll just do it into a tank top also kind of think that I'm feeling that vibe a little bit more. So that is the end of my pickups from yes, from, no, not yesterday, from two days ago, because I'm filming this two days later, but those are my pickups. I want to apologize for not getting as much content out for you guys, but I will be getting more and more content out. I'm just, you know, just have to make a better effort of doing that, so. So I think I'll cap this vlog off here and then we'll pick up in the next vlog. So as always, if you guys are new to this channel, welcome again, my name is Ariel. I do men's luxury style and lifestyle content. If you enjoy content like this, definitely subscribe to the channel. Definitely follow me on Instagram to stay up with my fit pics on the daily. It's at Ariel.Rosado29 and I will link it on the bottom for you guys as well as put it down here so you guys can easily find me. If you guys like style content, definitely check me out over there for daily stuff. Um, the YouTube stuff is normally like once or twice a week. But Instagram is on the daily, so I definitely appreciate it if you could follow me over there and subscribe to the channel. It helps my algorithm and helps me get out into the universe and find more people that enjoy this style and fashion stuff like we do. So thank you again for watching, and I will see all you guys in the next vlog. Later, guys.